Hi guys, welcome to an episode of Luke's Garage. In today's episode, we're going to talk about probing. Now, probing is possibly my favourite thing in the whole world, especially when it comes to CNC. Uh, it's so, so important when you're doing multiple job setups. And actually, if you want to remove the need to use jigs all the time, um, you can actually uh, use probing to do that. Now, I have always wanted to have the ability to do uh, or have an automatic tool change on my CNC. Now, those two things, probing and ATC, are directly related because if you have an ATC, you need to probe after you do the tool change uh, to ensure you've got the right tool length. Uh, the problem is an ATC on a CNC like the Beaver Pro uh, is the best part of an extra $2,500 just for the spindle, not to mention all the additional electronics you need, uh, air valves, all the rest. So I thought about ways in which we could have the ATC functionality or reprobing functionality, but without having to spend the money on ATC. I don't mind changing the bits, I just like to be able to do it faster. With that in mind, I developed the Zero Two Probe, as many of you might have, and what I've got here is a little tool probe holder. Now I developed this the other day, I uh, say actually the other day, this morning, with the idea that you could use it to hold your probe in place. Now this is the Zero Two Probe, and you can see you can mount it like so, or you can turn it around and mount it there. Uh, it doesn't go anywhere. It's nice and nice and stuck in position. And the reason you want that is because it needs to be able to touch off the same place time and time again. And this particular version is just mounted with two M5 screws along the front of my T-Track, which is great because it means it's actually lower than the baseboard. Now. What we're going to do is look at how we can use a probing command in CNC.js to allow you to probe and actually do a tool change. So if we just focus on the spindle a second, right now you can see I've got a 10 millimeter bit in here set to datum on this piece of metal. So that's what I've got there and it's all set as zero, 00 on my CNC.js screen up here. If you could please focus up there. And what we're going to do is run a new tool change macro, which I've been working with Neil on. So if we click on the uh, run macro and focus back on the uh, spindle, we're going to click run and it's just going to confirm we want to run it on CNC.js and we're going to click run. We've now raised to a safe height and we've got our Millend in position to do the probe and as you can see I've just attached my magnet onto there Now what I want to do is I'm just going to click continue because I'm happy with where it is and I'm happy it's not going to crash into anything. So I click continue and we very very slowly probe down. Now we're looking to increase the speed of this but for the time being we need to have it as a uh, slow speed to make sure we don't uh, cock anything up to be honest. The other benefit of using a plastic mount is if you really do cock it up, that will snap before you do any serious damage. So we're going down, down, down. And there we are. We've now probed the Z height of that tool. At which point I will remove the magnet. I'm going to take my tools and I'm going to change my tool head. Ten millimeter boring bit aside, and put on a thirty millimeter facing there. Nice, cool little tool that, and we slot that into place. Now the reason I'm using these two t two bits in particular is because they both got ten mil shafts, and I figured that'd be nice and easy to show people the tool change and making sure the height works. That's now in place, and we put our tools to one side. We're now going to reattach our magnet and we're going to move back down to our safe height. So I'll click continue on the macro on CNC CNC.js. And then once we're happy, we've made sure we've uh, connected the magnet and click continue. We're now going to probe this piece, uh, sorry, not this piece, the um, uh, facing now. So it's doing the exact same thing. It's going to touch off the exact same space 
on the Pro. Do apologise, this is uh, a little bit slower and less dramatic than one would hope for. He's playing some proper good music. Jurassic Park, perhaps. As, as you can see, we have now probed that piece. I'm now going to remove my magnet. Put that out of the way. Need another magnet on that. And then click continue. We are now back at datum on the workpiece. So if we have a look, you can see you can spin the piece. I'm going to take this out for mount a second. Don't know how easy it is to show you that, but you can see we're dead on datum there. How's that for a uh, tool change macro? Thanks for watching guys. I'll be posting the macro along with the design files for my little uh, mounty thing very shortly. Thanks very much. Bye.